Players' salaries must decrease every single pick. I can't tell if this is gonna be a hard draft challenge or easier than I'm thinking, but... Only one way to find out. And you know what else we're gonna find out? Which team I will be drafting for? It is the... Flo Rida Panthers, who... As of when I'm recording this, likely going to the Stanley Cup Finals. They're up 3 nothing right now, and actually, they could sweep Carolina tonight. I don't see them getting swept, but maybe. Owner mode will be off, head coach edit lines, jabroni, you're too funny. And we will turn off player morale. Fantasy draft, of course, needs to be toggled on because that's the whole point of the video. Salary cap, yeah, because otherwise I could just easily cheat and continuously take 10, 9, 8 million dollar players. CPU trades, you know what, I'm gonna turn it off this time. We're gonna try that again. I won't make any trades, so they can either. I'm always so confused with the settings because of the career sims. So I go back and forth between doing drafts and the sims and obviously the settings are different. But anyway, we're getting pick number seven. Gonna be a high pick. Nope, if I added 20 to it, then boom. Yeah, I don't wanna start at 8.7 because I think we can get a few players in the above $8 million range. So I'm going to try and find someone who's making a lot. Eric Carlson is a good example. Patrick, yeah, that's a recipe for success right there. You know what? Let's start with Jack Eichel. He has been ripping up the playoffs. So he's going to be the first player on Florida. There you go. What are the odds? Rupe Hints would be so good too, but we need a... He is center slash left wing. Two-way forward. Eichel's a sniper, I hope. Oh, wait. He's making 3.1. No, 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 no. Mark Stone, two-way forward, making 9.5. So that's going down 500k. Yeah, there you go. Bringing back a Golden Knight. Again, I guess we're not really bringing back. We are putting on the opposing team. Okay, so we're getting down to the $8 million range here, actually. Line A, why did I think he was a lot older than 24? Wow, I actually don't know what to do here. We're in a tricky spot because we just took 9.5. And we could go down to Shabbat at 8 million. We could take Hurdle. I have no idea where we should go from here. You know what? I am going to take Shabbat. I could look at goalies. No, I don't want to take a goalie this early. I also feel like we should be able to tie the last salary because otherwise it could be extremely difficult. For example, if I get down to league minimum before the last pick, there's not much I can do. There's too many people making the $6 million range, and I don't really see anyone for seven. So I think 6.5 with Lindholm is probably our best bet right now, to be honest with you. Ryan Ellis is right-handed. All right, we're locking and loading for defense. 6.25, consider it done. Yeah, I'm gonna wait for goalies. The contracts are too weird. Brock Nelson, second line center. Seems good to me. I am gonna try my very best though to take players that are dropping in salary. I'm gonna try not to tie it, but if we do get to that point, I'm sorry. There's not much I can do. Why do you shoot left? Why? Your 5.8 would have been perfect. We do not have a single left winger yet, so Burakovsky could be that for us at 5.5. I feel like I am dropping quick here considering we're only at pick eight, but I'm just trying my best. Another right defenseman, Brent Burns, 5.28. Make that selection. So our top 4D are nuts. Riley Smith making 5 flat. It is worth noting we have $25 million left already. So I might need to start dropping a little bit quicker. Oh, I don't know what to do. I do not know what to do. I think we're just going to have two goalies that aren't great. Sorry. David Perron at 4.75. Yeah. I think that's fair. We also apparently only have one right winger, so I'm not even sure what our lines are gonna look like, but Nino Niederreiter is eligible, right? What did I just say, four, seven, five? So yeah, we could take Niederreiter. I am going to do it. Oh no, I really feel like I'm backing into a corner here. Cam Talbot 3.6 is actually great for us right now. So I will be signing him. What cap space do we have left? 13 million, okay. Okay, I think I'm really gonna have to start budgeting now. So Barabanov 2.5 is like a decent drop off. We're also not taking a massive cap hit. So that is a deal and a half. I don't know how far to drop off after that though, because there are some really good players available or maybe not, maybe they're all gone. Rodriguez at two, that's good. Yeah, 
for sure. Third line center. My emotions with this are an absolute roller coaster ride right now. So if I take Shiri at 1.5, I could take Mayfield at 1.4, and then we only need one more defenseman. We still need a backup goalie. 1.4 still gives us some room though, and I think there's Lars Eller somewhere. 1.085, which is a weird number, but it's more than one. All right, I'm going with Shiri. I'm going to hope that Mayfield is still there, and I will draft him, who is a right-handed defender. Oh no. Did he get taken? There's so many 81 overall players. No, I think he's gone. There's Holden at 1.3. Left-handed defenseman. What have we got for goalies still? Goalies, whoops. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna end up going like league minimum for a goalie seven. Okay, that is huge, Ingram. That's good to know. 1.3, nicked out. Fourth line center. Yup, $5 million of cap space left. We have to get out of this hole somehow. 1.125 is pretty good. Kulikavi's left. Sure. Shen at 850k would be good. He's right-handed as well. Let me just double check, actually, our drafted defenseman. So, we have left, and then... Oh, okay, it just <laughs> zipped and zooted. We have left, left, yes, okay. So, we do need a right-handed defender. So, Shen would actually be very good for that. I don't think he's going anywhere. So we'll keep him the... I can't speak. We will keep him in our back pocket for now. Again, I wish there was a way to pin players. There's got to be somebody for us here that's making exactly 1 million. Oh, yeah. Corey Perry. That couldn't have worked out any better. That couldn't have worked out any better. Yeah, we're fine. I'm taking Luke Shen. So that's our final defender at 850k. And now I can take someone... Just under that for a left wing spot. So Zach Parise is making 750k. And how much was Ingram making it? It was like 735, I believe. 750. 775. Did Ingram go? Yep. Looks like he has been taken. So 750k is about as low as we can go for a goalie right now. I need a player making eight then. There has to be a player making between 750k and 850k. There has to be. There we go. Nason. Sure. I think he's been doing all right, actually, as well, in real life. Not that that matters, but... 765k, and now we can take any of those goalies making 750, and we are done! Boom! I mean, I might as well go for Holpe. Years left zero, so I wonder if that's going to cause a problem, though. Okay, I'm going to go with someone that has at least one year left. Dalia... Kincaid. I'm gonna go with Chalgren, because I feel like for some reason last time I drafted him, he did well. I could be making that up. Probably am, but it's not changing my mind. There is our roster. I'm gonna defer judgment until I see the edit line screen, but it's not looking amazing. Hopefully I didn't break the rules at any point there. I tried my best. I think I followed it, so I believe we're okay. Moment of truth edit lines. Let's see what we are okay. This is a no. Usually, though, if I do best lines, it does modify. So let's see. No. If I promote Nason and Perry, then we get 0-0. Zero, zero. Okay. We can also do that. Need a rider could play up here. We still get a 0. That gives dash ones. I think I'd rather Rodriguez be there. So that's 0. Okay. That's fine. Barabanov is a playmaker, power forward, two-way forward. Need a rider is a sniper, right? Yeah. What is Rodriguez? Playmaker? He is. That kind of makes me want to put Niederreiter up here. But then we have two playmakers going together. I don't know what to do. Nason is a two-way forward. Shiri, two-way forward. Okay, so... No, I'm going to leave it like this then. Now, can we please have defensive chemistry? Oh, that's all right. We'll make this work somehow. I'm going to make a change. I don't know why that's not already done. And boom. There you go. Sorry, Alice. It is what it is. And now we have Cam Talbot with... Eric Chalgren. Doesn't look like a playoff bound team to me. But I will not lose hope. 42 wins and we're in. We have computer trades off. I'm not going to make any trades. I'm just going to try my best with this roster. Which, I mean, we're off to a pretty decent start here somehow. Okay. Shouldn't have said anything, evidently. 8-8-1. Eight, eight, and one. We just can't seem to pull away. But we are starting to pull away with losses. Which is not... The kind of pulling away I was hoping for. We're last in the division. We don't seem to be getting a lot of wins here. Yeah, we might just be cheeks. Well, it was a good run. Never mind. Look at all the wins we're getting. They're fighting back. That was a huge winning streak. We won against Detroit there as well, which is massive. Got spanked by Colorado, but 
Didn't really let it get to us. Three L's in a row. Four. Right back down to earth. Yeah, I don't see it happening. We're gonna have to have a heroic post-trade deadline. Not gonna get my hopes up because that typically doesn't happen. Even though there's no trade, here's the players available. The Islanders trying to get rid of Maury and Miller. Wow, all right, it's a pretty decent trade deadline. But... I'm getting out of here. To be honest with you, I'm just happy I made this team work because there were a lot of moments of doubt for this drafter right here. I'm trying to think in hindsight of what I could have done better. Maybe grab a goalie sooner. Maybe I did wait too long to get a goalie. That's really the only thing that's popping into my head. And we finished last in the division. I'm going to sim the rest of the playoffs anyway, and then we'll go look at the season and playoff stats. I also wanted to grab Pavelski at some point just because of all those abilities, but... Clearly didn't do that either. The St. Louis Blues are your Stanley Cup champions. The Calder Cup goes to Toronto. The Toronto Marlies. Columbus got the presidents. They consisted of Sebastian Ajo playing with Nikolai Ehlers and Travis Konechny, Paul Bailey and Paul Mieri. Their offense looks pretty meh other than that first line. Well, actually, I don't know. They got some solid players there for sure. They have Pesci playing with Hughes, Schmidt, Hag, Jekai, or Wi-Fi, okay. Vladar and Net backed up by Blackwood. All right, please tell me we did not finish last in the league. That would be embarrassing. The Devils, 13th place, and they get snubbed. And the 19th place LA Kings managed to qualify. Impressive. Where are we? Okay, 30th. That could have been worse. The Ducks had Barzell, Huberdeau, and Marcheseau. Duchesne, Krejci? That's a joke. Vasilevsky and Net too? These guys finish last place? All right, we got no points. Our offense was awful. 53 from Perron, and he led. Eichel had 50, Nelson and Barabon on 47. 45 from Stone and Burns. Shabbat had 42. Guys, Cam Talbot barely achieving over 900 save percentage. Almost had a 3 GAA as well. Ranta had 42 wins, and he had a 914 save percentage. 261 GAA for this season. Vanacek and Knight both had sub 900 save percentages, and they're still up here. Nearly point a game for Quinny. That's insane. 78 for Dullian as well. That's nuts. Hamilton, 75. Carlson. I was looking at both of these guys. I was debating on drafting them, and then I didn't. Dreisaitl with the Art Ross. 107 points, 44 tucks. Him in a Rangers jersey would be disgusting. Pasta gets 102. Kane and Nate Mack with 100. Steven, 96. Who gets the Rocket Richard? Matthews with 55. Now the important question, probably Genoa. Fights. Boom. Felino with 11. Genoa had 9. Okay. Brady Kachuk and Trent Frederick had 5. Tom Wilson still had the most pims though. 113. And then Kachuk had 93. No wonder they wanted to get rid of JT Miller. Look at this goon. Nice amount of penalty minutes. Marchi had an insane playoff run. 37 points. And then Kane as well. These two just dominated together. Who's their center? Malkin? No. Kopitar? No. Strom. Dylan Strom. Sure, why not? So I'm assuming Marchi is going to have the Con Smythe locked up. Spencer Knight found a lot more success in the playoffs. After a sub-900 season, he almost had a 920 in the playoffs. Vanacek did very well. Dalene once again ripping it up. Over point a game in the playoffs, he had 15 points in 13 games. Philip Ronick had 14, playing 17 games, done up there as well. And it's trophy time. I will just go through those real quick. Individually, we already knew that. The heart goes to Sydney the Kidney. Quinn with the Norris, no surprise there. Kane gets the Bing. Slavkovsky with the Calder, okay. Marchi does get the Con Smythe. Darcy Kemper with the Vesna. Blackwood gets the Jennings, though. Roma Yossi will be taking home the Masterton. Malone. Gets the Jack Adams. Lindholm will be winning the Selkie. The Ted Lindsay also goes to Sydney the Kidney, who had, what was it, the Hart. And then the Rocket Richard is in the hands of Pappy. Here is your playoff tree. The Blues went to seven in round one, and then it was sixes from there on out. The Tampa Bay Lightning... Six, sweep, six, and then six. Well, we made the draft work. That's the most important thing, okay? And winning games is just a bonus on top of that. Winning the Stanley Cup is like the coup de gras. You know what? It's all water under the fridge. Great draft. And I will see you soon. Also, subscribe. Maybe.